So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input is going to be a diagram question for me. Uh, as we can see, we have more specifically, we have uh, tables here. So the question says the tables show the frequencies of data values for two data sets. Okay, so we see that. We see data set P, data set Q. We have values and we have frequencies, right? The next part of the question here says which statement best compares the mean A and standard deviation B of data set P? Okay, so A is the mean over here and B is the standard STD dev, standard deviation. Okay, for set P with the mean C and standard deviation of D. Okay, so C is the mean for this data set and D is the standard deviation for this data set of data set Q. All right, so um, quite a bit of work here to do this by hand. Honestly, the best way to answer this is by using your graphing calculator. So a TI-83, a TI-84, and to use a feature on that calculator that allows you to calculate the mean, really, and the standard deviation directly from you know, your data set with frequency. So the most, most of your time would be in inputting the data from set P and inputting the data from set Q, and you would get values, right? You would get a value for C, a value for D, a value for A, a value for B, and be able to compare them. That is the, definitely the fastest way forward. I do not have the capability right now to show you how to do that on the calculator screen. So my suggestion is that you look up how to calculate the mean from a frequency table and also how to calculate the standard deviation from a frequency table on whatever graphing calculator you have. If you do not own a graphing calculator and are not able to borrow a graphing calculator before the actual test, this type of question becomes much more complex. I can definitely calculate both the mean and standard deviation by hand, but the amount of time that that would take makes this question not worth doing. I mean, you're still going to guess, but it makes it not worth spending so much time on um, unless you go through the rest of the test and have time left over at the end to come back to it. What I would say is that the standard that the mean is important. In order to calculate the standard deviation, you need to have the mean. So by hand, you can find the mean for data set P. You can find the mean for data set Q. If you do that, you will see that the value for, let me see, I just did this by hand. A, I believe, was 5, and C, I'm pretty sure, was 9. Um, so we know that A is less than C, which means C and D are gone. And if that's all the time you had, I would just guess between the other two, right? Saying that the standard deviation is equal to me is a bit unlikely, but again, I haven't analyzed this at all from a standard deviation standpoint. I definitely have not thrown this into my graphing calculator. So, you know, if it were me guessing between A and B, I probably would guess B. But again, you know, hopefully you don't have to guess and you can get your hands on a graphing calculator. Again, the TI 83 or 84 works well. I believe both of those are allowed by the test makers by the college board um, and if you don't have it again try to solve for the mean or you know another thing that I might do if I did not have a calculator is just skip this all altogether so I would guess my guess letter is B typically so it just happens to line up here um, and I would put a star next to this question and I would move on and I'm glad to make this video actually uh, because sometimes things like this happen on the test and it's like mean is not a very complex uh, concept Standard deviation is also not a super complicated concept, but the amount of time it would take if you don't have the calculator or if you have a calculator and just don't know how to use it in order to find these things can be extremely frustrating and making this question, which is worth no more points than any other question. This is not like extra credit or if you spend the time doing it, you'll get bonus points, right? So because of that, I would star this question, guess right? Bubble in my guess 
and move forward and only return if I have time at the end.